everyone. So today we're going to be making a fun card using these two new stamp sets from the alleywaystamps.com. This is the Be Unique set and this is the Be Sweet set. And this has a bunch of fun sentiments and this has a little interchangeable bee. If you have not seen that um, video, I will link it right above right here. So, and I, in that video I already had stamped and colored this bee. So I'm going to use this bee so I don't waste them. Okay, so I have the base of my card right here and I am going to be placing two pieces of paper or cardstock on top like this and using just the center of this. So um, in order to only have to stamp what I actually need. I'm going to place those two on top. Take a pencil here. And I'm not going to go exactly where I need it. I'm just going to make a little tick mark underneath so you can kind of tell where I need it. Like that so I know that it needs to go basically in the general area of the middle okay so when stamping um, one sentiment over and over um, repetitively in different colors it's really smart just to take a wet wipe or your cleaner or whatever you're going to use set up your pads in the color scheme that you want it to go so Okay, to make this go a little quicker, I'm just going to take off the actual lids. Now, you can do this one of a couple ways. If you're totally OCD and you want it perfectly straight, then make some lines and do it that way. I am not that OCD, and I'm okay with it looking like it's homemade. So I'm just going to start. I'm going to stamp up my first one. And just wipe it off couple times just continue to do this the whole middle section of your card okay now before I stamp the next B here I want the word happy to be right where I want it so I'm going to take my VersaFine Black Onyx ink, ink the happy up, and stamp that down. Okay, now continuing. I don't think I mentioned the names, so this is Raspberry, Lemongrass, Aquamarine, Mimosa and Mint to Be. So those are all the pads I used. Okay, like I said, this is going to be a very simple and way quick card. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my little bee here and just trim him out. Okay, then I have taken this through my um, Big Shot machine and I used the Paper Tray Ink um, Linen press plate and let's see if you can see it you can kind of see it how it just kind of has a little bit of a um, texture to it I'm just going to place these up on some foam squares Okay, and then our little bee here, I am going to place it up on some foam squares. I should have thought of this before, but I think it'll still work. This is the free set. It is called Be Happy that you get with um, $40 or more purchase in um, the alleywaystamps.com store. And that is before shipping. 
Um, I'm going to use this little dash line right here. If I would have thought about it, I would have done it beforehand, but I just thought about it. So let's see if we can make this work and not ruin my card. Reverse the fine. like that. Okay. And then just to give it a little extra something, I'm going to use some homemade enamel dots here. And if you missed that video, I will link it up above and down below in the description box. Okay, so I'm just going to take some glossy accents here, place it on the bottom. And I'm going to place this one underneath. This little tool is called um, Quick Stick and it is new to me. Um, I've seen a lot of people use them and I've never used it. And so far from using it, I actually kind of like it. So it just picks up like little detailed items and gives you, gives you the option of not having your big fat fingers, oops, using it. Ah! Dang it, I don't want it there. And now I have glossy accents over there where I didn't want it. Sting it all. Okay, and then I just have this um, crystal ice stickles. And I want a lot of shimmer on my bee's wings here. Except for I don't like how um, blotchy it comes out. So I'm just going to take a little, a little old brush here. And kind of spread it around so it's not quite as thick. And then also I'm going to use my Wink Estella pen and just lightly go over the little dash line here with a tiny bit of shimmer. And then my B, the black part of my B. See if you can see that. There you go. So that is the card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and that this inspired you to go and create something that is perfectly imperfect. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.